everybody, and welcome back to the Wattpad Book Club. My name is Phoenix, and uh, once again, I am joined with my lovely re recurring guest, uh, Kenzie. Hello! I am so glad to be back once again. Yup. <laughs> We're in for a treat today, apparently. <laughs> yep. Mm -hmm. So the last one we read was really cute. It was uh, Lindsay X. Tyler. And today uh -huh. we get to do a little bit of a of a different underrated couple. Well, they're not technically canon. They're shipped together a lot because they have a yeah. lot of bickering. And uh, uh -huh. so <laughs> it's Joe X. Brick, yes. aka Jock. Mm -hmm. God, I love Brick. So I was kind of excited that the the wheel landed on this. <laughs> yeah. But now like. Fair. I th well, 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 we'll see in a second. So, uh, when I first loaded up the, uh, <laughs> the just like, uh, like the cover where it has like the cover, the the title, and then like a brief description along with the table context, I noticed that one of the tags was depression, <laughs> and yep. then there's harm, jock, self, total drama, revenge of the island, total drama. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah. I'm like, I just want a normal story. <laughs> right. Is it that much to ask for? Right. I'm not asking for much, man. Uh, I've already read like a horrible- I've read like a horrible, like, I don't oh. even know when it'll be up. I'm like, yeah. I'm afraid to even talk about it, because it, it disturbed the shit oh, out of no. me. It oh was, no. But, um, but it like it dealt with like depression and like suicide, but it was like oh. really fucking dark to the point that like oh, no. we, we like we read like three chapters like let's just skip to the end <laughs> and it was like awful. <laughs> oh no! Oh damn! Yeah, it did not have a happy ending. <laughs> so, oh no! Yeah. It's terrible. Yeah. <laughs> I felt oh. so bad for yeah. the person I turned into that. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Remember, yeah. kids, make sure you proofread your fan fiction. <laughs> yeah. Yes, please. Please yeah. do. Yeah, make sure you put the mature label on that. <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> so, anyway. Especially with topics like this. Yeah, especially Seriously. topics like this. Which I guess if this does have depression and uh, self-harm, we should probably say before we even read this that if you do suffer from depression, suicide, like suicidal thoughts, self-harm, please get help. Like, there's people out there that can help you. There are resources. Uh, there's- there's- a, suicide is a temporary solution. A permanent solution to, like, a temporary problem, so... Please get help. <laughs> that's, yes. all I, that's all I ask. Me we're, too. And we're just reading this for fun. Yes. That, that, okay. <laughs> Covered all my bases? Is that all the, the check marks? <laughs> <laughs> we good now. Okay. All right. Let's see. The description reads, Sometimes being a teenager can be horrible. Life can throw a punch at you from that you can't dodge. That's something that young Joanna Wilson would soon learn. Read the story to see what being a true friend can save a life. All right. Wait, is that is that Joe's canon name? Is Joanna? Is it? I mean, I, I feel like that'd be. I mean, in the show, she's just like Joe, it's J O, so it would make sense if she like shortened her name because she didn't like her full name. Probably. Yeah. Can I be honest? I I really thought like when I rewatched Total Drama Revenge Island. I thought Joe was coded to be like transgender in some way. Yeah. <laughs> especially Probably. with like, especially with the jokes that like, not really jokes. It's just like, uh, what lightning being stupid and thinking that like, yeah, 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 yeah. Joe's a boy. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I know what you mean. Yeah. Yeah, I really thought I'm like, <laughs> is that is like, is 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 Joe like? <laughs> but all right. Yeah. Let's start reading. Alright, well, uh, where did my coin go? I had a nice coin on my- <gasps> I found it. Alright, I actually have a coin to flip. <laughs> Alright, do you want to be heads or tails? Um, I'll be heads this time. Okay. 
Oh, it landed on my keyboard sideways. All right, it's Tails. Okay. Right. The past. Joe's point of view. I don't remember much from when I was young, other than I was a really happy kid. I grew up with five older brothers and my parents. I was always happy. I never saw the, the blackness in people. I mean, the darkness? Yeah, okay. right. <laughs> I was like, am I, am I seeing that right? Right. <laughs> but soon, my happy attitude would change. When I was four, when my attitude went into another direction, my mom, Sophia, was coming home from the an, an Olympic meet when she crashed. A 20-year-old drunk guy crashed into her. He survived, but she didn't. I remember feeling so sad, alone, like I was lost. I just lost one of the most important people in my life. My brothers were really com comforting, but that doesn't change the fact that my mom died. I was so upset that I blamed myself. Being at school and church didn't make it any better. All the kids would find some way to insult me. They'd insult my family saying I had too many siblings or the way I dressed, even how happy I acted. I only put, put up wait. I only put up with it thinking one day, just one day, someone will be nice to me. But that only shows shows not all good things happen to people. And that's a lesson I've learned the hard way. I remember when I lost all hope in kids and adults in, and it happened with a group at church. I was sitting at church waiting for a meeting to start when I noticed a girl going to the supply closet. I got up and went to help her. Though, when we got into the supply closet, she turned to me. Stop following me, she told me. What? I was dumbfounded. Why are you following me? She asked. I just wanted to be friends, I told her. Ha, huh, we will never be friends, she laughed. I froze. The way she smiled and left me made me sad. I went back to my church ward, and one of the sisters came up to me. Sister Wilson, you left sitting by yourself, Sister Harrison told me. Her saying that made me lose hope that anyone would be nice to me. Thirteen years. It went on until I was fifteen. I managed to be friends with this one girl who was a little bad at starting conversations. We, we talked a lot about sports crushes and we looked out for each other. Or at least, that's what I thought. She asked me to help her with her 16th birthday and I agreed. She gave me invites to people including her crush. Hey, um, I'm invited too, right? I asked. She turned to me and smiled. Why would I invite you? You're not cool enough to be at my party, she smirked. But I thought we were friends, I said shocked. Huh, why would I be friends with you? You're a loser. The girl said before leaving. I remember feeling stupid that I let anyone do that to me. Friends don't exist. No one really cares. All they all they care about is themselves. I'm Joanna Faith Wilson and this is my story. Jeez. Damn. It's depressing already. Damn, I didn't think we'd get a, a dead mom trope already. Yeah. Yep. Yep. I'm glad the author also put in here that, like, that even though they're writing about these topics, it's not a joke. I'm, I'm glad they did that. Yeah, uh, yeah, me too. That's, me too. That's more than the other author did. <laughs> oh. Oh no. I, I, you know, I'll, I'll talk about it later. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Uh, School! Alright, Joe's point of view. I can't remember a single time in high school when I was noticed. All that comes to mind was when I think of high school as losing myself in my own mind. Do you ever wish the world would open up and swallow you whole? Well, that's what I feel every day. In high school, I wasn't noticed by almost anyone. To break down what my school life is like, I just try to blend myself in. in I just try. To, I try to blend in. Blend in. Be be invisible. I don't have friends because in my world, friends don't exist. All people do is think about themselves, and no one is going to take anything anything from me anymore. Beep beep beep, my alarm goes off and I hit the snooze button. I slowly got up and, and heard my brothers Jake and Jack arguing over the shower. I rolled my eyes and grabbed and grabbed a basketball off my shelf. Out of my out of my way, ugly brute, Jake smiled. I'm your identical twin, idiot, Jack yelled. I threw I threw the basketball at them and hit Jake in, in the back in the back of, of the head. 
Ow! Jack- J Ow! Jack started it, Jake yelled. I did not, Jack told him. I rubbed my- I rubbed my temples as my- as my headache settled. I don't care which of you trolls started it. I'm ending it, I told them. I combed my long hair and flipped my- my- and flipped my bangs out of my eyes. I grabbed my clothes and took my pajamas off. Once I dressed- once I was dressed, I grabbed my stuff and went out the- and went out the door. I normally did this so I could just- so I could just run and feel free. I got to school and everyone was interacting except B. As you may have guessed, I was bullied a lot. My main bullies were Heather and Alice, were Heather, Allison, and Maria, Carter, and Amy Pre- Amy Prescott? Oh, Heather, and Maria, and Amy. Yep. Damn. You got like the mean the like a mean bitch from each season right now. Yep. Uh-huh. All of them were the plastics of our school. Of course of course because because uh, of course they are. <laughs> <laughs> the plastics. <laughs> I I got to my locker and put my stuff away. E there he is! I heard I heard two girls shouting. I turned and saw one of the most popular guys in our year, Brick Austin MacArthur. Brick was on the football and basketball team, and he got along with everyone. Surprisingly, he was single because he broke up with Courtney Garcia after seeing her kissing Trent Matthews. Oh what? my god, we're getting drama. Oh shit. <laughs> uh, I guess, guess that's still a drama for you. Yep. I rolled my eyes when I saw him and slammed my locker shut. Hey, I heard him say. I looked at him. I looked at him and he was smiling. What? what? I looked at him and he was smiling. What do you want? I asked. I couldn't help but notice you always sit alone. So I wanted to ask if you'd like to sit with me and my friends. Brick asked. Wow, thanks for reminding me I'm alone. Sorry, I'm not looking for friends. I said, turning away. Everyone has a friend and I could be your friend. Brick told me. Again, not interested, I told him. The bell rang and I knew I was late. I walked to class and got embarrassed for being late. I sat down and didn't listen to anything the teacher said. I did the same thing for three periods until lunch. When I got to the cafeteria, it was the same old, same old. Something weird about me as a, it, it, something weird about me is I'm fine with standing up for others, but not myself. Hey, check out this loser, Heather smirked. I looked over and saw she was picking on a senior named o Owen Turner. He, he was large and ate a lot. Maybe if he weren't a tub of, of large girls, of large girls would actually date you. Amaria laughed. I walked over and slammed my fist on the table. Hey, you're disturbing the peace, I told them with venom dripping from my voice. They all looked at me. What does that have to do with you? Heather asked. Yeah, leave us alone, Amy told me. Hmm, what's that you enjoy? P hmm, what's that you enjoy? Picking on people? Do me a favor and be a slut somewhere else, Kay, I told them. Damn. Dang, she got- she got them! Yeah. <laughs> Jeez, fine, Emory groaned. They all walked away and could only grin. Hey, thanks for getting them to leave me alone. Maybe we could be friends, Owen smiled. No thanks, I'm good. Oh, and maybe you should talk to Izzy. She's crushing on you, I told- I told him. I walked to my usual spot under a tree. I sat under my little tree with my lunch and my music. Music was a way for me to escape. Same. I listened to songs like Love the Way Love the Way You Lie and Older. I was eating my lunch when, when Brick when Brick from before came to me. Hey, thanks for standing up to Owen. It was a noble thing to do, Brick smiled. Hey, I wasn't going to let them talk to him like that, I told him. Hey, hey, don't you go to church to church here? Brick asked. Yeah, I have to do the mission practice. But first I have girls girls camp i groaned i go to the church too except with the guys maybe we'll see each other brick told me i rolled my eyes as the bell rang once i knew for sure i wasn't gonna fall for the same tricks again i love how he he asked i like how brick asked her if she goes to the church like yeah like how small yeah. is this town that they know exactly which church right <laughs> I love that. They didn't even like bother giving like a name. They're like, you got you got this building. That's pretty cool. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Alrighty, the parking lot. Also, I love that they put in like uh, Owen X Izzy, <laughs> just like something yeah. in there. Yeah. Oh, uh, that was amazing. I like that. 
<laughs> yes, me too. All right, the parking lot. Is this gonna be like outside the church or some shit like that? I'm, I'm guessing so. Yeah, I think so. All right, let's see At Joe's point of view. And we're getting a bricks point of view because they they keep alliterating that it's Joe's point of view. Maybe. Um, probably. Hopefully, I want I want to see Brick's point of view. I want to see what he thinks about uh, Joe and everything. Yeah. I need the lore. <laughs> yes. Give us the lore, please. Yes. <laughs> There's an emotion that not a lot of people know about, and if I left unchecked, could be deadly. People like to pretend it doesn't exist, but no one, but no matter what, it's there. People, and when you're at your limit, your emotions fade into a cloud of nothing. And that's exactly what happened to me. Until someone showed me true friendship, I stayed there for a very long time. Did I skip a chapter? <laughs> okay. No, we're on chapter three. Okay. I, well, I thought she was, like, not gonna be friends with Brick. Like, anyone. So yeah. I, I, I was like, did I miss something? Yeah. <laughs> After school, I had to go to girls camp. In case you hadn't picked up on it. I hated this. So, instead of doing the kickoff, I just stood it by the exit. Seeing those girls all happy and being friends made me sick. Reminding me of how I was alone. So, being the little edgy girl I was, I stood near the exit, but I still listened. Alright girls, who's ready for camp? Sister Harrison asked. I I'm ready for it to be over. This year's theme is about togetherness. We all got... We all got together like a puzzle. Sister Harrison smiled. Fit together like a puzzle? I'm the piece you shove in the end. Though, I don't fit. Gog my eyes out with a spoon. This is so boring. I mumbled. I know, right? Your family makes you do this too? A girl asked. She had black hair and brown eyes. She looks strong like me. Uh, oh yeah. Who is she? I'm surprised she even noticed me. Like, I'm... What girl is strong with black hair and brown eyes? Oh, it's Eva! Eva. <laughs> yeah, it's Eva. <laughs> this whole thing's pretty boring. Do you want to hang out in the parking lot? The girl asked. Sure, I answered. I'm Eva, by the way. The girl smiled. Joe, I told her. Talking to her made me happy. Like someone actually wanted to talk to me. We talked in the parking lot for a while until she nudged me, nudged into me, and I nudged back as well. We fought for a while, and as weird as it may sound, it was one of my favorite memories. Fighting with Eva made me happy, and I felt something. Maybe if she understood me, maybe others would too. However, it's not the case, or at least not right now. Eva was in a different group, so we didn't see each other. But I still had fun beating the crap out of each other. <laughs> yes. I went back to the building and saw all the other girls giggling and talking. I rolled my eyes at the sight of them. Hey, what the fuck did I say? Smarmy? Um, spare me. Oh, hey, spare me. Where's your boyfriend? Oh, wait, you don't have one. I heard Amy laugh. Oh, it's Samy. I f yeah, that's like the nickname that Amy gives her. Oh, uh, I was like, how the fuck do you read this? <laughs> uh -huh. Yes. <Yeah. laughs> I looked over and saw her picking on her twin sister, Sammy. But, or at least that's what everyone else called. Oh, same, Sammy. That's right. Yeah. Her real name is Samantha, and it was Sa Sammy for short. Amy uh, loved that... taking credit for everything her twin did just because she was older. Uh, by, by, if you're twins, this show, you're only older by like a few minutes. Yeah. So, like, <laughs> what's Why the problem? older? Yeah, just by like a few minutes, unless you're like born like really close to midnight, where like one's born at like yeah, like at like eleven fifty nine, and the other one's born at like twelve oh one or some shit. But like yeah, <laughs> I walked over and saw two other girls being picked on, both I recognized from school. One was the sophomore Sky Champion, the other one was Jasmine James. Jasmine was Australian and really tall, like taller than her boyfriend Sean Evans. <laughs> Wait a minute, it's Sean Evans. <laughs> Wait, isn't that like a celebrity name? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Isn't it? <laughs> I feel like I feel like Sean Evans is a celebrity name. I, that's pretty clever. That's what it sounds like. Yeah. And Sky was really athletic, like me, and loved doing gymnastics. Hey, champion, how's life? How's life knowing the what? <laughs> 
What? Wait a minute. When? Wait, what? <laughs> How is life knowing you're pregnant? I cannot. <laughs> what? <laughs> and that sky, right? <laughs> uh... Who the? I. Who's the father? <laughs> I don't wanna know! <laughs> uh, yeah! I'll, I'll just skip over that. Heather laughed. Hey. Oh my god. <laughs> Aren't you gonna. Oh, I can't read that. <laughs> I don't feel like reading that. <laughs> Sky was pregnant, but said she wasn't getting an abortion because her boy. Oh no. No. Dave! <laughs> no, Sky! <laughs> No, Dave Morgan was fine with it. I'm not fine with it because it's Dave, but me neither. <laughs> I've heard uh. through passing conversations, which I heard through lunch. Sky started crying, and I had enough. I walked over and spoke. Hey, leave her alone! I told them. Oh, look, the loser. Why don't you go jump off the roof? Heather laughed. Why don't you leave them alone? So what if Sky doesn't want to kill something before it even lives? I say that's a brave thing, I told her. Ooh, little Miss Dark and Lonely standing up for people, Amy laughed. Hey, go be a bunch of sluts somewhere else, okay? I told them. They looked at me and left. I walked away, but not before hearing this. Hey, thanks for standing up for us, Sammy said. Hey, yeah, maybe we should be friends, Sky smiled. Sorry, not interested, I told them. <laughs> I, I walked away thinking about only one thing. The mission coming up in a few weeks. It was my one chance to prove myself. Prove yourself? <laughs> oh. oh, I forgot. Like, don't, like... Uh, I'm not really into... I haven't gone to, like, a church in, like, a very long time. But don't they do, like... Like, um... I forgot what they fucking call them. I know they call them missions where they go to, like, another... Somewhere, like, to spread the gospel, right? I don't even remember, because I haven't been to church in a really long time either. Yeah. <laughs> I swear they did, like... Oh, yeah, it was, like, mission groups, right? I I, I think so. I'm, I'm, I am think uh... so. Probably. Yeah. Alright. It's all you. Mission failed. Another Joe POV. <laughs> I think this is like mainly like on her story. Like she's like telling the story of how she like meant brick and such. Mm -hmm. So I think that's how the story usually goes. Okay. Which is why there's so many Joe POVs. Gotcha. I don't know if we we're gonna get like a brick POV soon or. Yeah. <laughs> we might, but I think it's mostly just gonna be Joe POVs. Also, I love that like. From what we know so- well, at least what I know so far about this story, I love, like, the cover art. It's like, Joe acting all confident and Brick being nervous. I feel like it's swapped in this. Yeah, yeah. It's very much so. I mean, we only- we didn't really get to see Brick that much so far, but, like, maybe- I mean, they're at the same camp. They're just, like, sectioned off by gender, so maybe we'll, we'll see him again. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Joe's POV. Being picked on at age 19 wasn't fun at all. And, and when you're made fun of by- and when, you're made, and when you're made fun of by people that know you can't fight back, that makes it worse. Being hurt by people who know who know you can't fight back hurts hurts like a punch, punch to the gut. My experience was one of the most abusive things that has ever happened to me. My church did this thing called a mission. I loved my church because, because even when I feel alone, I know I have hope in the Lord. Easy, easy as fuck, I know. I've always wanted to do the mission, and being able to, and, and being able to now makes makes all the, the makes all the waiting worth it. The way missions at my church work is you, it, it is you and four and four is you and four or five people go to another go to another part of the world to preach and teach lessons. You were sent out to teach for 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 a time period of eighteen months, but in my case, it was cut short. Being a part of this is a way for me to prove myself and get away from the teasing in Toronto. If it weren't for the missions, I, I would have offered myself years ago. I would have offered myself years ago. Damn. Because, <laughs> yeah. It, yeah. I know. <laughs> because this was the mission that, that we could, that we could be sent anywhere that we, that we were sent, that we were sent to India. 
in, in, in case in case he couldn't guess guess me and my team had to learn how to speak how to speak Indonesian. We were taught how to speak the language for about five or five to six weeks, and in that time we weren't allowed to use internet. I caught on pretty quickly because my mom went to India for fi for a firewalking fundraiser. Oh 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 yeah, my mom wasn't just an Olympic champ. She she was also very very kind and generous. My 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 dad my dad brother my dad brothers and I love doing stuff like that because doing stuff like that. But anyway, about anyway about about halfway into training, I was going to to the second floor where I was supposed to meet meet my team when my feet when my feet started to hurt. I didn't think of much of it, but the pain only got worse as I kept walking. I dealt with the pain all the way to the room where I was hugged by some random girl. Um, do I know you? I asked. She let go of me and I was confused. I looked around and saw five other people around me. Ahem. Ahem, you should know who I am, Sister Wilson. The, the woman told me. I looked at her and didn't say anything. And this was the and this was only the beginning. Um, excuse me, should we introduce ourselves to each other? A voice asked. I, I turned around and saw the hot blonde chick of our school. Lindsay Greenwood. I forgot she went to my church, but at least Heather wasn't there. Sorry, Sister Wilson. So, 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 sorry, sorry, Sister Wilson was being incompetent, the woman told me. Um, Sister Dixon, that's a little harsh, a another girl told her. I quickly recognized it was Zoe It was Zoe Bailey from our school. She was a small-town girl, and she had a boyfriend, Mike Vargas, who happened to be super popular. Because of course he is. Yeah, why not? <laughs> yep. <laughs> I looked at the other three people. Uh, I, lo I looked at the other three people of all which I knew. One was Scott Fields, aka Duncan Nelson's partner in crime. Really? <laughs> all right. Well, I guess. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. She didn't. Yeah. She didn't know. He she didn't know who you were. Who you were just move. Who? Who you were just move on. S Scott told her. Okay. Well, brothers Jackson and well, brothers Jackson and MacArthur could. Could, could, could you, would you, would you help me, please? Sister Dix, Sister Dixon asked. J Jackson and MacArthur. Oh, oh God! Brick and Lightning were on my team. They helped. They helped her grab some paper and then sat down. Lightning sat next to Scott, and Brick unfortunately sat next to me. Okay. Okay. So I had. So okay. So I take it you've all practiced your Indonesian speaking. Sister Dixon asked. We all nodded. And, we all nodded, and she smirked. Okay, Sister Wilson. Say the verse, Luke 6, 9, in Indonesian, the sister told me. I froze. We were only halfway through training. I couldn't say that. I tried my best, but my Indonesian was broken. Oh, oh, looks like someone has been slacking off. The sister grinned. I wanted to cry, but I wasn't, but I wasn't about to give her the satisfaction of knowing she broke me. I sat back down, trying to keep calm. The, 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 trying to keep calm. The rest of those, si the rest of those six weeks were extremely painful. She kept all she kept all the less the lesson plans to herself and wanted me to know everything. I honestly hated her. I know that's a strong word, but it's a but it's the right one. A as you can guess, we got into fights a lot. If she broke me and embarrassed me in front of people, of course we were gonna fight. Which one's which one's Sister Dixon? Like what's the first name? <laughs> I cannot remember. <laughs> Forgot to. I I just forgot to. <laughs> well, I, I maybe we'll figure it out. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. This one on this one on for, for this one on for two of the six weeks we had. We tried talking to the mission president's wife, explaining our problem. I thought she was going to give us advice or some way we could work together. Honey, Sister Dixon has been there longer than you, and she's a darling. Ugh. Clearly the fights are your fault, the woman told me. I was stunned. She didn't even try considering my part of the story. She just blamed me. I, I, she just blamed me. I didn't listen to anything she said after that. The next four weeks sucked. I was looking forward to never seeing her again after this. Going to India with her along with my foot pain was awful. We were, we were walking everywhere and my feet only got worse. We were walking to someone's home when I started feel, to feel dizzy. I, I, I felt like I felt like I couldn't stand up. Hey Joe, are you okay? Someone asked. I turned and saw and saw none other than Brick. 
Huh? Yeah, I'm fine. I said, I'm fine. I said weakly. I suddenly dropped my knees because I couldn't stand up. Sister Dixon kept walking but ran back looking angry. Why did you do that? She asked. I'm sorry. I just felt dizzy. Are you doing this to spite me? Missionaries are supposed to stick together. Don't ever do that again, she told me. I nodded my head and she dropped and she and she dropped me on the ground. Damn. Brick helped me up all the way to the members' home. When when we've got back to the hotel, I sit I sat in the bathroom crying, holding crying into my hand. The physical pain wasn't was bad enough, but this mental abuse was too much. My leader hates my leader hates me. My feet hurt. How could things get any worse? As I was about to find other things, when it worse, we were doing our last lesson together with Sister Dixon before we got a new leader. We talked about our plan in the room when Sister Sister Dixon spoke up. Okay, so Sister Wilson, what, what, so Sister Wilson, what is what you gave a testimony at the end, at the end of the lesson in Indonesian? Sister Dixon asked. Sure, I can handle that. I smiled, but my smile was far from real. I turned into a robot around uh, around others. I wore a happy smile around adults, but my real but my real self was so far away. I see the fake smiles across my lips. We we got the house, and Sister D D Dixon turned to me. So so Sister Wilson, you will you will be doing the whole the whole lesson today. The sister told me. I was shocked. But but that wasn't the plan the plan we talked about, I told her. She was just doing a testimony at the end, so we told her. Damn. I, I hate people like this that like go against like their own plan. Or just like I have to spite people. <laughs> Sorry, I had to like mute myself for a bit. No, you're good. Cause interruption. Oh, okay, where was I? Oh, Sister Wilson. Okay. Oh, Sister Wilson, this is our last lesson together. You really want to quit now? You're being so selfish, your sister smirked. I I guess I'll have to cancel. She smiled, pulling pulling out her phone. She always, she always knew how to break me down. Despite how abusive she was being, I tried to calm myself down. I guess I can do it alone, I told her, my voice breaking. Good, the sister chuckled. I barely got through with my broken Indonesian. And the sister didn't help me once. She just grinned at me. This was her, this was her plan. She knew, she, she knew this was the last lesson we teach together. And she want, and she wanted this to be the best one yet. I didn't see her... I didn't see her the next morning because she she went to another group. I was scared about her next partner, but the sister was so kind. And and what's the, and what's better, we gained a new teammate. Hi, hi, sister Evergreen. Glad 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 to have a new teammate. I smiled. The woman smiled, and her daughter walked in. The minute I saw her, I I knew who it was. Hmm. And cliffhanger. Wonder who has the last name Evergreen. Yeah. Hmm. I'll find out. Mission fail part two. <laughs> you ever met someone who just makes you feel worthless all the time? <laughs> that person makes you feel so small and helpless. Well, that person was Sister Dixon in my case. She didn't get on to any of the others. Just me. I only put up with it because, well, I had to. Switching partners was the highlight of the, the mission trip. Why? Because we got a new teammate. Sister Evergreen brought her daughter Dawn. Oh, it's Dawn! I love Dawn! <laughs> we went to school with- who went to school with me and the others. Now, Dawn was picking up- picked on like me. People said she was weird because she could read ors and stuff, but I thought it was just her thing. She walked towards us and smiled. Greetings, teammates. Dawn smiled. The others said hi, but I just waved. I still wasn't looking for friends. Having Sister Evergreen as our new leader was great. She was so kind and caring towards us. She taught us fun lessons and she helped us so we struggled. However, all good things have to come to an end. On one of our lessons, we walked up four flights of stairs to get to the members' home. No one was there, so we all went back. But at the very top of the steps, 
I can't, I squealed. Huh? Lightning ass. I can't, I can't get down, I croaked. Lightning and Brick helped me back to our hotel where we stayed it, but the pain was unbearable. My feet and legs, my back were in horrible pain. Sister Wilson, maybe we should just, maybe we should just go home, Sister Evergreen told me. Yeah, Joe, I think she's right, Brick told me. I nodded and grabbed my phone. I called the mission president and, and put him on speaker. I don't think I can do this anymore, I told him. I'm tired of your excuses. You don't have foot problems. You're making this up to get attention. The mission president told me- Why is everyone so fucking mean to joke? <laughs> I know! My gosh! This is horrible! Everyone's out to get it right now. <laughs> yeah, for real. I'm not making this up, I told him between choking breaths. You were- you were called to serve in 18, for 18 months, and you're turning back. You do realize you're going against the Lord's will. I was shocked at his last words. I dropped my phone. God was the last person I could look at. Oh, oh, was the last person I could I look to. I don't know how the fuck I fucked up that. <laughs> <laughs> Hearing that meant even God doesn't want me. He hung up, and I was so upset. The flight back to Canada was so painful. All I could think about was that I failed. When he got, when we got back to the mission president, his wife waited for us. Wow, they're so fucking mean to this girl! I know, I hate it! Like, poor Joe! I thought they'd give me some encouraging words, but instead... Mm. Sister Wilson, you have failed. It only gets worse when you go home. He told me. And he was right, because of what happened when I got home was worse than the pain in my feet. What the fuck happened when she got home? Uh, oh no. <laughs> yeah, uh, uh. Do you want me to read this? <laughs> and then you can read the last- I think we're on the- Oh yeah, we're we're almost to the end of this. I, if you want, I can read this. Do you, read do you want to? I, I feel like this is gonna be some hard shit, so I'll, I'll take it off of you. <laughs> Are you, are you sure? Yeah, I can do this. Okay. Yeah, I can, I can do this. <laughs> okay. Alright. I'm already sensing what's on this chapter, <laughs> so... Yeah. Alright. Shut them up for good. Just point of view, okay. Oops. Just almost flung all the... <laughs> I, my mouse a little hit a little too hard and it like shot down. <laughs> Yeah. I drove from my dad's car all the way to the mountainside. The view was beautiful. There was a small barrier to keep you from driving off. I got to, I got to the turn. I turned the wrong way. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. I got to the turn and turned the wrong way. I drove off the mountain and crashed into the river. The car was trashed to pieces and I was floating. I closed my eyes and smiled. Finally, I was- f I'm free. Beep beep beep. Please tell me that was a dream. <laughs> Please! Tell me that was her <laughs> alarm! <laughs> Every day when I woke up, I'd, I'd be mad that I wasn't dead. Every night when I went to bed hoping to be dead, and I'd wake up angry for still breathing. When my team and I got home and no one asked how I was or if I was okay, it was always, so when are you going back? Or, wow, she failed. Coming home basically put a red dot on my forehead and it meant I was a failure. The church pressured me and a lot of others to be the perfect minis- Minis- oh, fuck. Missionaries? Yeah, missionaries. And I wasn't. I couldn't do anything right. Who could love this screw-up? Knowing I failed spiraled me into depression. Dang. I tried to hide this is- holy shit! Uh, is I she know. in the hospital or something? Yeah, okay. yeah, she is. I, d I could not tell if, like, the beeping was, like, her alarm going off, or if it was, like, the- the heart monitor thing at, like, the hospital. Yep. So. <laughs> it is. Okay. At least- at least I got that confirmed. Okay. Yep. <laughs> I tried to hide it from my family by reflecting their positive energy, but when they left, I was an empty shell. There was a weight on my chest that only got heavier, larger, and harder to carry. Just being alive was painful. Ain't, 
in the foot pain. Well, I found out it was ten tendus and my feet were tearing and becoming inflamed. I was told not to walk on inslides? Ins uh, yep, or my feet could get worse. I couldn't get around the house without falling and crying from the pain. But it wasn't just my physical pain. The voices in my head, they kept telling me I was a failure. I messed up. I made a, a big mistake and it was a mistake. But no matter what I did, they didn't shut up. They wouldn't keep quiet. Every day they'll tell me I failed and I'm a screw up. So one day I decided I'll, I don't want to get better. I just want to be dead. So March 14th, Friday morning at 5 a.m., I took my dad's car and drove to the mountain side road. My plan was to drive off and fall into the river. My family didn't know. No one in my church knew. No one in my school knew. No one knew what I was doing. I got to the turn and went over the mountainside. I landed in the river, my dad's car in pieces. Finally, I was free. Question? How is this gonna turn into a, a Joe X brick moment? <laughs> Um, you'll see. Okay. <laughs> you'll see. I, I won't spoil anything for you, but okay. you'll see. Is she okay? I heard someone ask. Huh? I slowly fluttered my eyes, opening and saw a light in my eyes. I slowly sat up and looked around. Well, she's alive, but your car didn't survive, a voice said. Who cares about the damn car? Where's our sister? Then it hit me. I was in a hospital and the voices were my family talking to the doctor. Great. My plan was a bust. I looked at the door and saw my family walking in. Jojo, you're okay, my dad smiled. Wait, what happened? I asked. Well, you drove off the mountainside road and crashed. Lucky for us, someone saw and called 911, my older brother Mason explained. I looked back at the door and saw Brick, Lightning, and Scott all standing at the door smiling. Who was it? I asked. S someone Brick... Mick MacArthur, I think, my dad told me. I was shocked. Brick saved me? But why? But when I think about it, I'm glad I didn't die. Damn, oh. I'm not expecting that. <laughs> yeah, me neither. Yeah. When I first read it, I wasn't expecting that either. I I guess I probably should have paid attention to the escaping death thing mm -hmm. and uh, the tags, but. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Why can't they put mature labels on this stuff? Yeah, yeah, like I know like I know like at least in my experience when I look when I get find like books that I want and whatnot, usually mm -hmm. the mature labels on there, but like because of like smut and shit like that. But like yeah. this still covers some serious topics that like it not really light does. topics. You gotta put a mature label on this. Exactly. Uh, if author of this book, if you're watching this for some reason, please go back and put the mature label on this. Yes, <laughs> it, honestly, please. It, it, that's the only thing that'll just fix this, is just put in the mature label and put a, maybe some trigger warnings at the very beginning of the, the, the yeah. chapter one. Just... Yes. Please. Yes. <laughs> Seriously. Yeah. Alright, well, go ahead. <laughs> See how All this right. is gonna end. <laughs> yep. Stay alive! Here we go! <laughs> Joe's POV. Have you ever been so sad that you wanted to take your own life? Yes. Have people bullied you, harassed you, pressured you? Well, two of those things happened to me. And it all happened after I moved out of my dad's home. I was 20 at this point in my life. I left and moved into a small apartment where I lived, where I lived on my own. I still woke up every morning asking myself the same question. Why did Brick save me? We never interacted. Heck, I barely knew him. But we did talk on the mission trip. My mental pain was still bad and my physical pain was worse. My feet hurt to no end. My mind was so messed up that I just wanted to try my suicide plan again. But but one night I wanted to get some fresh air. So so at two so at two AM I walked on the streets barefoot. We weird I know, but the physical pain was all I felt. But but that's what but that's what I wanted wanted to feel something. I walked on the streets and saw a tall figure walking towards me. I squinted my eyes and saw Brick. And saw Brick. Oh my God, Joe, Joe, jo, funny seeing you, F funny seeing you on that night. Brick smiled. I didn't respond. I just kept walking. He followed. He followed behind me and, ke and, ke and kept talking. 
So, so how have things been? What kind of question? What kind of question was that? Fine, I mumbled. Rick walked up next to me and grabbed my arm. Joe, if something is wrong, you can tell me. I sighed. Why? What? Why? Why? It's not like it matters. I asked. Joe, everyone in the everyone in this world matters, and you matter a lot to me. I froze. Br Brick really cared. Brick really cared about me. Without even thinking, I hugged him and broke down crying. Oh. He he hugged me back. At, he hugged me back as 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 said as said I was going and, and said I was go I was gonna be okay. I told him everything that happened in my life. And to my shock, Brick was nice to me. He he was the first person I ever told my problems to. And without him, I don't think I'd be I don't think where be where I am right now. Joseph, stop it, Donna yelled. Joseph laughed and kept tickling her. I laughed at the sight I, I, I laughed at the sight of my kids messing with each other. You, uh, what? you, you can't make these jokes. Br Brick and I laughed seeing this. It was it, it was a lot like it was a lot like what Brick did to cheer me up. When, to cheer me up when I was in a bad mood. I'm glad Brick pulled me out of my toxic mindset and, and helped me become hum helped me become who I am today. Who who knew one person would be kind to me? Who knew one person being kind to me would pull me from from my dark mindset? What? <laughs> yep. They, yep. What? <laughs> yep. We couldn't like see them become friends. We get one nope. emotional moment between them, and then the next paragraph is like jump cut to Time the skip. future. It's of, like eight years or some shit. <laughs> yep. What the? F what? <laughs> yeah, I don't. Yeah, I don't Did know we miss why. A chapter. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> I was expecting that either. Like it was just like all oh, that, and then it just went to a time time skip, and I was like, huh? Yeah. I wish we got to see them be a bit more friends. Like like Brick trying to like break down her walls a little bit to like trust someone yeah. and have a friend. That would have been good. <laughs> yeah. Ugh. Oh man. So what'd you think? <laughs> I actually, that was actually pretty good. It, yeah. it was like really deep, but it was good though. I, I, I give it a seven out of ten. Yeah, me too. Me too. Well, uh, I don't know if this author has any other books, but uh, if you would like to read this book and support the author, I'll have it uh, linked down below in the description for you guys to, to check out. Uh, don't harass the author, please, about the <laughs> about the suicide yes. stuff, please. Yes, please don't. Yeah, harassment's a big no-no. <laughs> yes, just don't do it. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> well, uh, now it's time for everyone's favorite uh, segment, where we spin the wheel to see how screwed we are the next time we have to <laughs> sit him and schedule. <laughs> oh joy! Very much joy. Alrighty, well. I don't know what I'm hoping for with this one. Yeah. Maybe the Gwen X Trent? Yeah? I feel like that'd be good. That was a decent book. <laughs> yeah. Alright, let's spin the wheel. Oh no! 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 Oh 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 no! Remove it as an option. <laughs> Save. Oh. Damn it! <laughs> we were doing so well. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> oh man. I, I don't even think we have a book picked out for those two because. <laughs> yeah, we don't. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> now hold on. Let me just quickly just like look. There, we might have to do another thing of like one shots because I don't think yeah. anyone writes about these two because they're really bad <laughs> together. They are. <laughs> Who the fuck are these people? This, this, I okay, we're gonna have to do a little bit more work to try to find some one shots of these people. But, yeah. Uh, the first suggestion was I don't know who these people are, but oh ew, no. Oh, I'm no. just realizing who that was. Oh. That's Dave from Boy in a Band. <laughs> oh. 
No, okay, I gotta do a couple, I gotta do some tweaks and like the filters to figure out how to get a book to pop up. But we might have to okay. do one shots again. Yeah. Oh, well, hope you guys enjoy that. <laughs> what we <do>. Yep. <laughs> It's gonna be like the the Lindsay X Tyler, except way worse. <laughs> yes. Yep. We're gonna mm -hmm. fucking speed run those one shots. Like our life yes. depends on it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Actually, it might be longer because we're making fun. We'll be making fun of Dave a lot. I feel like. Yeah, we will. Yeah. This is a this is a Dave slandering club. Yeah. This is. I have like, whatever fandom I'm in, I have like a like a blank hate club. This is a Dave yep. hate club. We hate yes. Dave. Yes. Tag yes, yourself if absolutely. you, if you hate Dave. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, I guess that's gonna do it for this Wattpad reading. Uh, I hope you, uh, I hope, Ken Kenzie, I hope you enjoyed yourself, <laughs> even though oh, yes. it was this book. <laughs> yep, I did. Yes. Also, uh, be f feel free to check out Kenzie's channel. I'll have a link in the description down below for you guys to check out. Uh, they're really cool. Hopefully, I think you're uploading more stuff soon, right? Yeah. Alright, so, yeah, you'll get some content from them, and they're, like, yep. really good, so, like, you gotta go support my homie. That's an order. <laughs> <laughs> and then in my in the descriptions also, so my socials as well, feel free to do that if you're of volition. No, no, I'm not gonna force you. <laughs> Don't follow me on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, uh, my name is Phoenix, that was Kenzie, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye! Bye!